Welcome back to a new video about rectifier circuits. This is our example where we discuss the three-phase rectifier having a resistive load. We will see shortly an example worked out in the calculations step by step and also verify this in MATLAB Simulink simulations. Okay, this is the circuit we have. You see here the star connected source, three-phase source. You see the phase voltages, VA, VB and VC. Also the currents associated with these with sources and also this six diodes for our three phase rectification. And the resistive load is, show, is given here. Now what we have is the VA, VB and VC. The values are shown here. You see also the frequency is given which is 120 pi radians per second or 60 hertz. And you see also the other uh, phase voltages are 120 degrees out of phase. The resistor is a pure resistive uh, part load is 50 ohm. We like to calculate these parameters, the average load voltage, average load current, also the RMS load voltage and also the RMS load current. And also here the source current, which is one of the source currents here, and also the observed load power and also the power factor. Now before we jump to the calculation, let's see also the waveforms. The diodes here are numbered with D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 and D6. That's actually the conduction, so if D1 and D2 are on, the current will flow actually from this phase A in this fashion through the load, go back and then make this full circle. The plot here is for the line voltages, so line to line. It means actually between node A and B, for example, that is a line voltage. And also between node A and C, there's a line voltage. And between node B and C, there's a line voltage. The order here uh, is for the diodes. So the, if the diodes 1 and 2 are on, and diode 2 and 3 are on, 3 and 4 and 4 and 5, etc. Now, these three phases will then create these line voltages. You see actually the square root of 3 times the peak value, which is in this case 392 volts. And what you see here is the line to line voltage waveform. So you see in the red, the effective line to line voltage waveform. It's going like that. So you see also the period has now decreased from 2 pi, actually, for, uh, to uh, one third of a pi. Okay, so let's see the solutions here in the calculations. First, the average load voltage that is given by this expression is set because the load voltage is now the peak value of our um, the, uh, the line to line voltage and also the sine wave, etc. In the same way that the omega is a 120 pi in this format. Now, this is only valid between uh, pi over 3 radians up to 2 pi over. Uh, 2 pi over 3 radians. Now we can now calculate that when we also use that the, in the star connected format that the line to line voltage is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase voltage amplitude. So in this case it will give us a 679 volts from this 392 volts. Then we can calculate the average voltage using the formula we know. So the 1 over the period, in this case not 2 pi but pi over 3. And then integrate between the lower and the upper limit for our load voltage expression. Now when you now substitute the expression in here, the VO expression, and you calculate this, you get now in a, in a symbolic form 3 times the line to line voltage, which is our line to line peak voltage, over pi. Now when you now substitute also the for the formula for square root of 3 times the phase voltage that's shown here, so all together will give you this 648.4 volts. The average load current is, in this case, very simple, just using Ohm's law. So you divide by the resistor, this value, and you get now 12.97 amps. The RMS load voltage is in a similar form as we have discussed in previous examples. The definition for the RMS load voltage and RMS load current, so RMS value. We take again the period of pi over 3. You integrate between the lower and the upper limit, but you square now the load voltage expression. And you substitute this expression in here. And you do now this calculation in the calculator, you get now 649, 48.9 volts. The RMS load current is again using Ohm's law because we already know the RMS load voltage. So load current is again this value over 50, you get now 12.98 amps. So this value of RMS load current is very close to the average load current. The source current here is given by this formula, so this is due, due to the formation of these diodes and rectification. The source voltage RMS is equal to the square root of two-thirds times the load current RMS. And in this case, it will be then 10.6 amps. 
absorb roll power and of course our mass load current squared and you get now this so 12.98 squared times 50 that will give us 8424 watts the final one is a power factor that's the given by this so the load power so the absorbed power divided by the parent power we know that the apparent power is given by three times the source voltage rms times the source current rms source voltage rms is just the phase voltage peak over square root of two because it's a pure sine wave so you get now 277.2 volts and the source current rms is just calculated will be then 10.6 amps so then we have here 8815 volt amperes now when you substitute now the values here you get the power factor of 0 0.9556 okay now let's now collect all the values we just determined here and now look at the simulation result this is now the circuit drawn in the simulink using simscape elements you see here the three ac voltage sources the rectification using the six diodes the pure resistive part here you see here also here voltage sensors to uh, measure the voltage for the sources and also the measure the current here for one of the AC sources here. We also have the display here for the scope and also have the mean RMS value. Let's go one by one. We have here now the mean value first for the average load voltage that is 648.2, which we had 648.4, that is really close. So that's actually pretty nice. We also have this average load curve, which is 12.96. We had 12.97, so it's also really close. RMS load voltage is for 648.8 and that is also close to what we have calculated and the RMS load current was 12.98 amps that's also as exactly in this case as we have calculated the source current here RMS source current is 10.59 so it's 10.6 what we have calculated so it's also pretty close so it is all checked let's now go to the waveforms from the scope these are the waveforms you see in red the VA that's our phase voltage VA. The other one is the green one VB and the blue one, dark blue one is VC. So this is the three phases you see also they are 120 degrees out of phase. So the red one and the green one and then the blue one. The pink one here is out our load voltage. You see actually that this is now having this shape and also that the period has decreased from uh, two pi to one third of a pi. That's also the proof here. And the load, and I mean the load voltage uh, value is squared over three times the peak value of this one of the phase voltages and that was calculated to be 679 volts and that's actually almost seen here 600 so if I zoom in a little bit you see actually here 680 so very close to that so that's also again proved and the yellow one is our load current again same shape as we had for our load voltage all right, this is our example about the three-phase rectification using pure resistive load. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you next time in another video. Take care.